hey guys what's up welcome back now today's program will be will be creating a guessing game now just an introduction to guessing game now the pro the computer will generate a random number now the the player who is playing the game will have to guess the number which the computer has randomly generated and the the computer will give you a feedback based on that uh, telling it whether the number is too high or low or maybe it's perfect now i know it's a little difficult to uh, imagine so i just created the program beforehand and i'll just run it and after that we'll be begin from the scratch so let's see uh, what the output will be after we run the program so the number that is uh, generated is 42 okay so now we'll assume that we don't know what number it generated and now what we'll do is uh, we'll try typing few inputs now let's look let's try 10 so now the 10 is less right now how about 50 if i say 50 it's too high now how about if i guess it properly that's 42 now it gives an output as bullseye and exercise now this is our program that we'll be implementing today so let's get started with this so i just created a guess dot uh, guess game dot c and let's start our programming now first of all we'll be needing uh, input output so we'll be including stdio now here we'll also be requiring another library that is standard library i'll just import that and i'll tell you what we'll be using from that now just let's start with our main okay so now the things then the variables that we need to create here are we are looking at maybe a random number that generated by a computer and an user input so let's declare them so now let's start our loop where we'll continuously be putting uh, we'll be asking the user for input uh, if he goes wrong then we'll ask him again the input and we'll continue to ask him for an input unless and until he gets to the, he properly guesses the answer we'll be using do while loop now why are we using do while loop is because uh, we need to at least to to complete our guessing game we need to at least have the user to guess once let's start our do while loop now currently i just have left the condition i have not written here we'll be writing condition but we'll come to it later now now what first we need to do is we need to scan the input from the user so we will be telling a message to the user saying that uh, enter a number and we'll just scan it so i'll just write it quickly okay so now we have scanned our input but we forgot one thing that is we need to actually create the random number right so we'll just create the random number now for this we'll be using an inbuilt function which gives us a random number that is rand now uh, this function will uh, uh, generate a random number and return as uh, return it back to us now we'll store that random number that is generated in our random no dot no variable so let's write down now this ra r rand function is actually located in std lib dot h that's why we have included std lib in this program so after we have generated random number now because we are doing testing so we'll just print the random number to the screen so that we know which number we are dealing with here uh, here we are also uh, looking for numbers from 1 to 100 right so because uh, your ran uh, ran function returns a uh, uh, very large numbers it's it, it is typically from uh, your 0 to uh, a very large number but we want the numbers to be between 1 and 100 right so we'll just perform a modulus operation that is remainder operation on 100 so uh, we uh, and uh, so this will give us values between 0 and 99 now we want values between 1 and 100 right so we'll just shift it by adding 1 to it so now we will get a random number between 1 and 100 now let's print it so now that we have our random number after we have scanned the uh, input from the user now we just need to provide a feedback right to the user whether the number he has input uh, he has given is uh, maybe greater than uh, the number or whether it is less than our number so we'll just give the feedback to the user so that the user knows uh, whether he has uh, where he is la so let's check that now in this case in this scenario if the random number is actually greater than our input then the user has uh, guessed the number uh, which is below uh, the random number right so we'll just print a message saying that your guess is very low now the other 
thing can be uh, is that the uh, your number he has guessed is actually higher than the actual number so we'll just put that then we'll we, we'll just print a message saying that the number is high now that we have returned the feedback to the user but we forgot actually a case where uh, where the the number that uh, the user guessed is actually the number that we we wanted so for that case uh, if that happens then we have to exit the loop right so we'll just provide a condition uh, we want to continuously ask the user for input unless and until he guesses the right number right so our condition will be your random number is not we want to continue this loop unless the random number is not equal to the number guessed by the user till that time we'll continuously continue now, now this loop will if the if we generate a random number as say 50 and the user gets uh, guessed is at 25 this loop will still continue but if the uh, user guesses the number as 50 the condition will be evaluated as false and it will exit from the loop so now when we are done we have the user has successfully guessed the number so just we'll print him a message saying that you have guessed the number properly now i just printed a message bullseye so now just let's uh, c compile it and run it now let's uh, compile and run it to see what is our output now see here the number is 42 uh, it's not quite clear but uh, the number is 42 uh, the random number that we want the user to guess but let's try uh, various uh, things now let's try a number which is less than 42 how about uh, say 1 now the number is too low right so it the program is giving you a right result now how about if we try 99 now 99 is greater than 42 right so uh, that should be very high okay so our output is right now what about if we give the proper input that's 42 so now it's a bullseye right that's it for the program now uh, you guys can stop over here actually I'll, I'll be having it in the source code now for those people who actually try this program uh, twice or thrice now let's see you can you'll see that the actual the every time the random number generated is 42 now this is actually a slight problem in this code that you can say but this random function actually returns you random number now it returns you random number based on a seed now seed is nothing but a value initial value o on which it performs certain operation to generate a random number now in this case the random number generated every time is 42 right so how about uh, now we'll do some we we'll write some code which will actually make the random number random right so to provide a seed for random number generation uh, we have a function as srand now now in this function we need to supply an integer right so we can supply a integer statically but if we supply a integer statically every time the program will have the same seed so the random number generated will also be same now in this case what we can do is that we can create a time variable that is time underscore t and we'll just name it as t now you guys know right time this will generate a time now uh, the time is always unique as you know now what we want to do is that we want to supply this time inside this random s rand that's the seed for random number now what it will do is that every time that you run the program the time will be different right so it will generate a random number based on the time now so the every time you will get a unique random number now let's see how we do that now we need to specify unsigned now here we are just specifying an unsigned time t right so now we have supplied actually this ambient is for address of now this will just supply the address of your uh, time variable now this will return you the time that will be passed in your seed random and you will get a random number every time let's try that so as you can see this time the number is 51 now let's I'll show you I'll run this program two three times to show you that it's actually random now the last time it was 59 now let's try again now, uh, now this time it is 87 right now how about we try once more last time uh, for the last time 
and now it is 23 right so now we here truly have random numbers right so um, that's it for this uh, program now I hope you liked it now please do subscribe to our channel and like our videos and please do provide us with any suggestions that could help us improve this and if you want any program to be done by us please comment in the video uh, comment below uh, we'll be making the video as soon as possible thank you